Uh, this is written by the World Wildlife Fund, and I think they're pretty good suggestions, so I'm going to go over them right now with you. 10 simple things you can do to protect the earth. Number one, put on a sweater this time of year especially. Remember, when you turn up the heat in wintertime, your furnace is probably burning fossil fuels. A sweater or a nice warm robe will keep you even warmer and will help conserve resources and reduce climate change. With number one. Number two, uh, put one foot in front of the other. 100 years ago, 99.9% .9 of the people got by without cars. They took the train, they lived near their workplaces, and they walked. You're using fuel efficient cars. Um, is going to be important too, but we can save even more fuel by simply driving less. Number three, go for seconds. The second doesn't mean only separating your cans and bottles. It can mean using things a second or third time. That nice uh, padded envelope you got in the mail, for example, instead of throwing it away, scratch out the address, tear off the stamps, and do it again. Use it again. All right. Uh, yeah, my family's pretty good at it. In, mo in many of the um, opportunities to do uh, garage sales if you have a chance and it's safe you can do that too or thrift stores if you feel safe in them too go out there and uh, recycle and use stuff again and again number four uh, watch your waste number four watch your waste items you may be throwing away can contaminate the soil and water for thousands of years maybe millions of years your community probably has special disposal procedures for things like used oil and batteries. Ink cartridges can probably be recycled where you bought them. And many of the new super efficient light bulbs, you know, um, can uh, last for a long time. They don't contain mercury so uh, properly. Uh, just, excuse me. Many of the new super efficient light bulbs contain mercury. So that's a warning for everybody. So proper disposal is crucial. Check with the store where you buy them. I hadn't realized that myself about the mercury in the light bulbs. Number five, paper nor plastic. Paper nor plastic. Bring your bags with you. By taking reusable bags to the grocery store, you can cut down on the 350 bags and the average American uh, has been using for each year and reduce needless deaths of marine life caused by plastic bags that end up in the streams, rivers, and oceans of the planet. Uh, so that was number five, paper, not plastic. Uh, number six is BYOB. Last year, Americans went through about 60 billion plastic bottles of water. Fill up a reusable water bottle, bottle, bottle at home and bring it with you. Don't like, don't be like the uh, people who don't like to taste the water from the tap. Uh, try it, it may be pretty good. Or you can buy a filter. Uh, remember much of the bottle water sold today is filtered tap water anyway. Number seven, flip them off. In much of America, America, we can't even see the stars anymore. Due in part to all the electric lights we have on. Keep the light on in the room you're in, but keep the rest of your house dark you'll find the dark is soothing and relaxing. What do you think? Number eight, um, get in touch with your roots, plant a tree. I think we're gonna be doing several of those tree plantings this year ourselves in our yard and around. Uh, it's good for soil, good for the birds, good for reducing climate change and good for the air you're breathing. It's also good just to get out and do that sort of thing. You feel like you're contributing to earth and saving the, the world uh, at the same time. You're just uh, being blessed by nature. Number nine, uh, get off. Catalogs are great when they're from companies you like to order from, but if you're getting catalogs from companies you don't buy from, call them and tell them to get off, get you off their list. And that's an order. Hmm. You can also avoid a lot of the shipping uh, by buying locally instead of uh, going to Amazon and these online companies. Number 10, support WWF, that's World Wildlife Fund, who, who made these recommendations. They're working uh, to protect endangered species and conserve their habitats. Time is running out for many of the animals you love. We must act urgently, and your support is crucial to our efforts. Uh, I support also National uh, Defense Environmental 
Defense League and that sort of organization. You might find some other organization that's help support, especially at this time when uh, the government's uh, not uh, regulating uh, our environment as it should be. It's uh, delegating it to uh, companies and uh, company lobbyists to run our uh, major environmental protection agencies. So please uh, support these organizations at this time, especially. So let me go over the 10 simple things you can do to protect the earth. Put on a sweater, you know, every time you don't have to turn up the thermostat in winter, it's gonna save you some energy and uh, pollution. Uh, number two, put one foot in front of the other, try to walk more. Number three, go for seconds. That means recycle, uh, use it three times or more, uh, and uh, don't cause it more demand on the system than what we have already have in terms of environmental damage that uh, consumption of unlimited production has caused. Number uh, four, watch your waste. That means uh, you don't throw contaminated things out into nature. And the, uh, the warning here is that many people don't know about these uh, longer term, uh, more efficient lights that they uh, have mercury in them quite often. So you need to check on those before you throw them out. Number five, uh, paper, not plastic. You can also bring your own bags to the store. Uh, in the time of COVID-19, there might be some stores that don't let you do it. But in any case, if you have a chance, ask for paper. Uh, number six, BYOB. Uh, that means you, usually you bring your own bottle. Okay, uh, reuse the bottle, uh, get a thermos or some other water carrier for yourself that you use over and over again. Number seven, uh, flip them off, turn off the lights when you don't use them and realize that uh, not only can you see the stars better, but in your house, maybe you'll be more calmer in the darker rooms. Uh, of course, when you're working, keep the lights on, please. Number seven, uh, excuse me, number eight was get in touch with your roots, plant a tree. So in some countries, they require all the students to go out and plant trees. I think they should do that in, in this country. What about you? Number eight, get off. That means catalogs are, and other things that come in the mail, maybe you can contact the people and tell them you don't want them anymore, you don't want to be on their list, and maybe the message would get out. I'm not sure how this works with uh, all the people soliciting uh, contributions for me, but I'm trying to figure it out. If you know, contact me and let me know how to get off these uh, donation lists. I don't mind being on a few, but uh, I get over 70 uh, requests for donations every two weeks, so it's, it's wearing me out. Um, waste a lot of paper resources, at least. Uh, number 10, support WWF. A World Wildlife Fund or National uh, Environmental Defense Fund or some other agency, Sierra, Sierra Club, or some local organization in your community that's uh, working hard to protect you, your neighborhood, your city, your state, your environment. All right, this is Kevin Soda uh, summing up again the 10 simple things you can do to help protect the earth based upon a writing from the World Wildlife Fund. Okay, please. Uh, remember to like this uh, channel and also become a follower. Join up, sign up, subscribe. Have a good day.